That is amazing. I feel jealous that I wasn't able to be there. I'm going to have to know in advance so I can come next time. We'll, we'll call you, and it's because of our booster club who pays for our music teacher, Mrs. Lewis, mm -hmm. that we're able to have awesome performances like this. Uh, you know, I think sometimes uh, parents don't realize how much of an impact they can have at their children's school site by getting involved in just small ways because it's that little uh, bit of involvement by a few parents that can make a difference by you know raising funds to have a music teacher that then uh, you know impacts the hundreds of students that are at the school right. and you know I think that's a great call to action for parents to invest in their school's education beyond just I drop them off at nine and pick them up at three that's very so. true and I don't think we would be able to survive what's going on in the budget right now without our wonderful support from our parents. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, let's Cindy. see. Mrs. Well, I was going to say Mrs. Regis. Yeah, <laughs> still keep it Thank you. teachery. But, um, uh, so how are, how are you involved in, in, this, uh, in the program this year? Well, what happens is um, at the beginning of the year, we sit down as a grade level, and then we select a month that we'd like to uh, showcase our children. And then we then look at um, what would be appropriate for the children to present. And this affords us a venue so that we can show all different children. We have children who speak. We have children who uh, might, we might choreograph something and they dance. We have uh, children who, well, all children have to memorize a poem, but oh, wow. there's a leader for the poem. Okay. There's one that gets the children on stage, off the stage. And it's quite a production from beginning to end. We don't have that much practice time because we are, um, an academic focus school, right. but, but we want a well-rounded, well-balanced child where the arts are infused into our curriculum. And so not only do we integrate the performance um, into our curriculum, uh, because we studied heroes, which is a second grade standard in social studies, mm -hmm. and uh, poetry and the Lunar New Year, and we have children of various ethnicities at our school. And so we like to showcase their culture as well. So. Um, one of the songs that we performed was if George Washington had chopped down the cherry tree. And how fortunate are we to have George Washington Here with he us is. today? Here he is, George. How Andrew are you doing, Yeti. George? Good. Excellent. So, George, you were part of this uh, this For, production, for right? Yeah. And uh, what, what? Now, you weren't chopping down any trees on stage, were you? No. Okay, that's good. Because that well, could have got messy. Did you kind of chop down a tree, though, Andrew? Yes. You did. Well, you tell them about tell the tree. It was a fake tree. It was a fake oh, tree. Oh, okay. Was it a person tree? Yes. So there was another. With, now, with, oh, who was playing the tree when you? Were? Annie. Annie. Now, do you know Annie? Is she in your class or in a different second grade class? Different second grade class. And you had to chop her down. But but, but afterwards she was okay, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you think about the whole production? Did you really enjoy it? Yes. What was your favorite part of it? Chopping down Annie. <laughs> Chopping down Annie. When Annie fell down? Yes. Yeah. Well, now, let's pretend that I really don't know much about George Washington. I would imagine in getting prepared for this project and the performance, you probably learned a few, a few things about George Washington. Mm-hmm. Well, what are some things that you remember about him? He was our first president. You're right. You're right. The $1 bill in the quarter. Yeah, so he is important enough uh, uh, for our country to be put on uh, our money that we use to, to trade goods and service and things yes. like that. Excellent. Did you feel a sense, of, a sense of pride in getting to play that first president? Yes. You want to know a little something? I'm going to tell you a little secret about old George. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't even want to be president. They had to talk him into it. That's true. Did anyone have to talk you into being George Washington in the play? Yes. No. Really? Because you wanted to do it. Yeah. yeah! Awesome, awesome. And you might want to tell him that you went to visit George Washington's home. Wait, you went all the way to Mount Vernon in yes. Washington, D.C.? Or is yes. it in Virginia, technically? It's in Virginia. Technically. Because we're, we're all about technicalities mm -hmm. here, Andrew. Yes. And you went there? Yes. And was he there? No. Oh, good. <laughs> That'd be weird, huh? He was, he's, uh, he's already dead. No. He was alive in the 1700s. You're right. You got me. You're pretty smart. Pretty smart, man. I like that in you. So next year, third grade, uh, are you going to get another opportunity to be in a performance next year? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Do you have an idea 
Uh, do you have older brothers or sisters? Yes. So maybe you've already seen what they've gone through. What, what, what kind of thing do they get to do in third grade? Do you remember? That's okay. Just kind something of, to look forward to, Kind of the same thing, huh? right? They'll mm -hmm. host a different month. Okay. So they'll honor whatever activities or calendar events happen in that month, and okay. there will be an equal um, time given to whatever's happening, whatever the month is. Could be winter, could be Thanksgiving, and we just recognize whatever's happening at that time. So yes, you'll have another chance in third grade. Sometimes Excellent. in third grade they do a curricular focus like science mm -hmm. or mathematics, and then uh, they'll infuse something of the month, but the, the primary focus for third graders could be a curricular area. And so they learn particular things and then they present it in a, in a, in a really unique venue. Excellent. So we just had uh, kindergarten form last month. Oh, Kindergarten did, did the, hall the winter and um, follow the rainbow. Oh. And they did a little jig and they were all dressed in the colors of the rainbow. And we wish you had been there. I wish we I was there. Been. I have a, a, a daughter who's in kindergarten and they can do no wrong. That's they right. can do they no can wrong. Do no wrong. They are precious, precious, precious. Yeah. So, well, thank you all so much for coming on the show and sharing that with us, especially you, George, coming all the way from Virginia. That's that was quite a flight, I'm sure. As George leaves, maybe he could strut his little number that he did as do he you, was. You would can, you? You can be march down. Can you march? Show him right how you marched. What do you think? Pretend yeah. like you have your you axe and you just. Have, you, you have patriotic music and you're marching. Dude. Oh, oh, it fell. <laughs> oh, it's all right. That's okay. His hatchet fell. And then he cut down the cherry tree. Mm -hmm. Pretend you're going to cut down the cherry tree. Ah! That was Annie getting yeah. cut down. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was excellent, excellent. And uh, for those of you at, at home uh, or watching on the computer, wherever you are, stick around because we have more coming up after this.